Wait. No, I'm just going to head up the game. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm just going to fold over there. Yeah. Craig's over there. Craig, um, Craig distracted the baby. Craig is uh, currently hacking the moon. The moon? Yep. You grew? Hack. You just you, st- you hacked the moon? Done. Sick, dude. It's that's awesome. Now. What'd you do? Uh, I made it yellow. Oh. oh. And cheese. It's and always... Cheese. Has a, it's kind of sometimes yellow all the time, right? Yeah, sometimes, but now Every it's time I yellow. see the moon, it's yellow. What? Every time? Every time? I don't see the moon that much. All yeah. right. It's up there. Not, not Most really nights. Yeah. One that goes outside all that much. No, yeah. I see the moon a decent amount. Sometimes I, I can tell. I mean, it's stupid, but cause, no, hang on. Let, let me finish the sentence because it's going to sound really dumb when I set it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I can tell when it's a full moon. Not because I can, of course, see, see it in the it? sky, but I'll walk outside and go, it's fucking bright. I'm like, yeah, it's a full moon. It's, a full moon it's crazy, here. right? Yeah, it's bright out here. Yeah. That's that's the wildest shit. Stepping outside and being like, I can see, but it's nighttime. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, it's weird. The moon's weird to begin with. It's like equidistant between, hang on, no, not equidistant. Mm-hmm. That's not the right mm-hmm. word. The placement where it is between the earth and the sun is like perfectly the same size that we would see. The sun to the moon, yeah, with you know the size, yeah. Cause it's, <laughs> but you're right though, because it is because that's how like eclipses work. Like it's only <laughs> slightly bigger. Mm-hmm. No, it's the exact same size. They are the it, it is to to it's like a, apparently wow. to like the exact like the if the if the sun from our perspective is this big, the moon is exactly the same size. Wow, that, and it's, it, it is an unbelievable that. coincidence that it's that size. Wow. There has to be some kind of math thing for that. Yes, it, there, there is, yeah. Yeah, because um, of the, the certain weight of the distance or whatever, mm-hmm. it rotates a certain way. Or, yeah. That's so weird. No, I, um, what if the moon, it, what if it'd just be like that? There's no, it's just not, not, not math. It just did that. You know, yeah. That, 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 that's, that's actually what I just did. The moon is fake. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not real. The moon is yellow a lot more times than it is like white, though, to me. Like the more I, I see the moon being when I think of the moon in yeah. my head, it's like, like a gold. Are you thinking about Wallace and Gromit when they go to the moon and they eat the the, the moon with yeah they eat the moon with cheese with, with crackers? Mm-hmm. What? Mm-hmm. You know, seen Wallace and Gromit? I know what Wallace and Gromit is, yeah. but I I don't think I've ever really there, watched there's it. There's one where they go to the space and then they eat the moon. <laughs> wow! On like on like crackers because mm-hmm. it's made out of cheese. Yep. Cheese. That's right. Yeah, I've seen him say cheese before. He goes. Cheese. Yeah. yeah. Cheese. His, 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 his like, mouth gets real wide. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Wait, Gromit's the dog? Yeah. Bro names his dog Wal- Gromit? Uh, Gromit, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. He's Wallace. <laughs> Wa- yeah. yeah, Wallace is a name. Gromit? Yeah. Well, did he's you a think dog. the man's name was Gromit? Wait, is he British? Uh, Yeah, I think so. Oh, uh, yeah. never mind. Yeah. He's definitely European. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can tell if he was like Irish or. That probably Spanish means something. something. I'm having a bit of a grommet, eh? It's probably I, you, like a you thing know, they that say. It probably does. It actually does, probably does mean something. Let's see. That's a bit of a grommet, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I don't think... I went over to your house like a few I, weeks ago, and, and, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. Landon was just <laughs> was just being British the whole time we were cooking, and I don't know why, but he was just saying nonsense. He was like, yeah. put some cheese in, in that for the queen, go <laughs> save the queen. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> But I would like play along, and it was weird. We were just yelling at each other. He just watches a lot of British wrong. He just just watches a lot of historical documentaries, and whatever whoever was interviewed that day is what he has now. (laughs) That's just what it is. They interview uh, a German guy. He's German now. (laughs) That's it. That works. Uh, According to definitions.net, Grommet is an unclean person. (laughs) Whoa! You fucking Grommet. Yeah. Got to take. uh, I've I've got I've got to go in the bath. I'm feeling a bit of a grommet today. I'm feeling a lot like a grommet. Feeling yeah. feeling like a grommet today. Yeah. You start using that. Yeah. How how are you doing today, Jacob? Ah. Uh, woke up. Felt Shook felt a bit bed. of a grommet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Outside, rolled in the mud. A bit of a grommet. Bit now. of a grommet. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid. Um. <laughs> Sorry, I just like I just like grommet. Sorry, Can grommet just mean nothing? Can it just be nonsense? I like it more. Yeah. That he just named his dog like delete it. Biggledy bub. Biggledy bub. Bungus. Bungus. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just his name. I when I was little, I really wanted to name my dog Trash Bag because I thought it'd be funny. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know who told me this. It could have been Landon, so who knows if it's true. But the animals respond to their name better through only one syllable. What? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, oh. know, if that, I don't know if that's true, but... Um, I'll just name my dog. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, oh. I think I think one syllable, not like one grunt. Oh, okay. <laughs> like it, it can't like, be it like can't... Dave. Dave. Cause, yeah, because because Dave's one syllable. But if it's David, that's just too much. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah, way too much I, I, for that I, dog. You know, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm look that up. Hmm. I just think it has to sound like something. It can't just be. It can't be eh, because they won't know. Yeah. But it has to sound real unique. Yeah. You know. It just has to have a lot of. It, I think even if it has like a unique sound to it, then they then they know, because coffee cake knows because we don't really say coffee cake a whole lot. No. Except when we're talking to her, but like I feel like Edward sometimes has a little bit of a harder time. But if we say Eddie, then he kind of knows mm-hmm. because that has its like its own its own type, sort of sound. Alphonse always knows when we're talking to him. Yeah. Cause it's just he doesn't care. No, he doesn't. But Alphonse I, sits but like he, this. All, he does a really good job. And then you'll say yeah, you'll say Alphonse, and he'll go. Yeah, he'd be like, mm. <laughs> that boy's I, thick. I, I think he may have gotten that goofed a little bit. Mm-hmm. There, there's a study that says um, that studies have shown that dogs tend to have shorter names than humans. Mm. Sometimes well, one syllable because it's easier for the whole family to remember. Mm. Yeah, because there's fucking Wallace and goddamn Gromit Gromit's around. All right, they're naming them Rex and and and, yeah. and, and Tex, no, Tex and, and, and Max and Max. Max, and Max is that like shit. the most you don't popular name, dog. I mean, yeah. We're going around saying you're Gertrude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> of course they have shorter names. It's easier. And then we named our cat Coffee Cake. I don't want a dog. I don't like dogs. We've talked about this before, I think. I dislike dogs. Which I like visiting dogs sometimes. I don't. I like I I like dogs. It's not that I hate dogs. I my parents have dogs mm-hmm. and they're fine. But I like to see them. I don't I don't really want to mm-hmm. live with one. Kind of stinky. Yeah, fella. Yeah. You know, Mar- Marshall always told me that people only like cats when they're like dogs. And I was like, that's some mm-hmm. bullshit. <laughs> I like it when a cat kind of isn't like a dog. Mm-hmm. I, I like, I like nice. it. Yeah, of course I like it when the animal likes me, but, um, coffee cake doesn't run up and like jump on me and like lick my face and breathe like that. If any of them are like a dog, it's coffee cake. Yeah, She's but the she- most like, oh, I want to be right on top of you and... I feel like, I feel like she would lick a person. We had a, we had a debate with Emma one time. Mm-hmm. She has she, <laughs> funny she licked Marshall last week. Oh yeah, she was like licking his arm for some reason, but like not like because he's a grommet. Yeah, he's just a, <laughs> he's he a is grommet. a grommet. He's just a bit of a grommet. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Well, you had a debate with Emma. We had a debate with Emma where I was talking about if cats can feel sadness. <laughs> they can, <laughs> but it, they just don't show it. Yeah. But they yeah. can feel sadness. Yeah. Um, I was I was just being an asshole and being like, I don't know. I've never seen one sad, so how do we know? <laughs> they were like, no, they feel sad. Like you guys had articles like, look, they it's statistically proven that they get sad and they know how to be sad. I'm like, but they never, I never see it. Yeah, they never <laughs> like, express. They don't cry. You've never seen a sad cat. Because I think what I was saying was, is like, I like cats because you can like be like, go away and they won't get sad. And she was like, they get sad. And I was like, yeah, but like, they kind of get sad alone. <laughs> they don't get. They don't. Ma- they don't make me feel sad. <laughs> they don't make, wow. m- make it my problem. Yeah. <laughs> they don't make it my problem. Therefore, you're a better <laughs> creature to keep yeah, in my house. It's not like uh, your parents' dog Woody. Whenever your dad goes like to a conference, goes out of town, he he just whines. That's so. Mm-hmm. That's what I was comparing to. I, I know they He's... feel sadness, and I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be a fucking asshole, but, but that totally makes me sound like one. But it's because Woody, this f- huge. Yellow lab my dad's hat my dad has uh is he's, he's a big baby. He gets depressed, like genuinely depressed whenever my dad leaves. He'll find his shoes in the house and he'll bring them to the front door and he'll sit on them <laughs> and he doesn't do anything. He won't eat. You have to like make him eat. He won't he won't do anything and he's just mopes all the time. And it's just like, God, it's exhausting. <laughs> And like, I, good dogs are fine. I like dogs; they're great. Spencer, you can't, you can't. Do this, I, just a lie. You do, you do sometimes like dogs. Yes, you do. You've seen dogs before. I've been like, that's a cute dog. I like yeah, that dog. I think dogs are beautiful. I don't want one. I, that's different. That's okay. different than liking them. You can, I, 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 I snakes. Like, no, I like the way they look. 
Yeah, I like snakes. I don't want one, but they're cool, yeah. right? I'd rather have a snake than a dog. Well, yeah, it's another creature that doesn't do much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not going to take time out of my day. You. Yeah. You're over there in a, in a tank. You, I couldn't have a, a snake, though. You have to feed them. Yeah, you get a other few creatures. live stuff. Yeah, no, I can't do that. You want a mouse? You would have. That's the mess of snakes' food. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I don't even like killing bugs. Well, there's a lot of them. So there, yeah. there's a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> there's, always, a lot, there's a lot of us too. <laughs> there, like, there, there, not nearly as many. <laughs> no, do you know how like, on? Do you know how outnumbered we are to ants? Well, yeah, we talked yeah, about yeah, this we when we got tattoos. We got the, had tattoos, yeah. and like uh, Rico was giving us her tattoos, and I was just like. Do you, do you understand that if ants just decided that humans would be dead, we'd all be dead? That What did you find? There's like 10 quintillion ants yeah, on the planet. Yeah, like that. That means every human being would have to find uh, fight at least a billion ants in order to... Could you fight a billion ants? No. No, I couldn't. No, we, I we'd be gone. Yeah. We'd be yeah. gone. We'd absolutely... Like, just saying, if ants just really put their mind to it, yeah. the planet would be theirs. They could. But they just go in the ground they and get like and people pour like aluminum on them. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that on TikTok? People go. Like, <laughs> it's yeah, the, it's the most horrible thing. It's, it's the weirdest. People go, like anthills. It's the weirdest and pour shit. Pour aluminum into the holes and then pull it out and put it on display. Like, hey, look at that. That's yeah. cool. It's like yeah, it looks cool, but like it's as if a million <laughs> creatures were snuffed out, were snuffed in, an out in an instant. Yeah. Jesus Christ, dude! You just caused the apocalypse. They're going to turn on us for that shit. That, I was about to say. Sometimes my fucking YouTube and, and my, my amateur dog, both the algorithms are so fucked. No idea how the fuck they got there. They're so screwed up. But one of them, one of the videos I saw was like uh, five ant colonies go to war. Only one's left. Oh my so it's God. like they artificially put ant colonies against each other what? and they just decimate each other. And I'm like, oh this can't God. be okay, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> Am I just too much of a, of a... Jesus cr- Christ. Of a I was like, this is just <laughs> this decimating ants. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you could kill that many ants dead. You could. 410 billion ants dead. Yeah. I think that's what we, we were talking about. Oh, that could be yeah. why we were talking about it. Yeah, I was yeah. like, we could do that. My we God. Could. Wow. Like, are they all cops? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if every cop was a, if every ant was a cop, you could do it. Yeah. Um, um, the uh, My TikTok, if I ever see ants and someone like, look at my little ant farm. It's so that's cute. That's cute. It I want to nice. be on that I, TikTok. That. I'm on fucking ant genocide TikTok. Yeah. I really I fucking though. hate it. Yeah. yeah. There's also one that I always get caught and my whole family calls me an old, old man. Um, there's one guy that just goes in and cleans out wasp nests. Uh, I That's ju- fine. I could watch that all day long. I, I know. I'm okay with that. And, 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 wasps- and then and he takes all of like the wasps that he, he like, because he uses a, a shot vac, and apparently the force of it being them being sucked in and slammed against the wall kills them. <laughs> oh I'm like, God. Jesus. But he whatever is not dead, he takes a shot vac and tops it out, and then he has chickens, and the chickens come and oh, like yeah. just decimate oh, wow. it. Yeah. So Holy- it is like a double. Really? <laughs> the chickens just fuck chickens up the wasps? Eat them, yeah. Oh, yeah, they'll eat them completely. Man, go chicken. Yeah. And he brings like the little like uh, like the combs and like all the little eggs are in there and they'll just eat them right out of the thing oh my god that's yeah, crazy really cool videos but i yeah what well, see i think we can all agree like I, I we could sit here and be like oh all those poor ants and then be like well i killed a wasp the other day and be like oh that's fine good <laughs> yeah. another good. one dead and fuck yeah. like ant, I, okay yeah an ant can get in your house and there could be ants in your house, but I mean, for the most part, it's just like, ew. If anything, an ant's after ants the same here. thing I'm after. Yeah, yeah. it's just like, want oh, some food. Oh, you want some it, sugar? You should get bit by one, but like, you were probably in its space. To be honest, you could probably Wasps sort of... will like invade. Like, <laughs> they show them they're, they're horrible. Yeah. yeah. And like, sort of mosquitoes, mosquitoes spread like diseases. They're actually like a, like a, like a threat to like yeah. humans. I think we have a right to be like, fuck mosquitoes, you know? Do you, do you, like, what are, what are ants doing? They're just hanging out in your front yeah. yard. Do you know what that thing that in Florida or at least in that panhandle area, they mm-hmm. tr- they created a, a poison for for mosquitoes mm-hmm. and they tried to get it genetically and it turned out they just mutated and made them stronger? Uh, did, did you hear about that? Oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> they were, Guys. They're like decimate the mosquito they're, population the mosquito and, and, they, and they just bounce back even harder. They're like you've made it Life, stronger. Uh, fights away. <laughs> fuck. Holy shit. You get like super mosquitoes, problem. guys. You gotta stop. <laughs> Just leave them how they are. I, I guess. also think ants—they're they're very orderly. They come yeah. in the house through a line. Yeah. They do. They can they climb up the wall. They get their sugar. They leave. Yeah, I don't they're, like they're, them in the house. I don't like them, and I, I will get rid of them if they're in the house, which sucks. But like, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> like, oh, is this your house? <laughs> what the fuck yeah. is with yeah. that shit? 
It's horrible. Oh my god. It's not like a weasel. Like I know like weasels will like like not weasels, gophers or whatever, yeah. or moles. They'll like gophers. They they're like menaces. Like they'll no. destroy yards, which is like, you know, not good. You got to get them out. I know there's more humane ways to do it. But like yeah. what were the ants doing? Yeah. <laughs> Just like, they're just living there. Yeah. They're in a hole. Did you see that guy who was putting up uh, wild, uh, wildlife cameras in his farm? And he was trying to catch like gophers and figure out where they were going. Oh. And he couldn't because a gopher would walk up to the camera and eat the like <laughs> carrot in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and it would happen several days with different items of vegetables it would steal. Oh it would come God. steal it and then step in front of the camera and go, like, <laughs> show him eating it. <laughs> hey, I was look. like, you know what, bitch, you live here now. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to start going a little more so you can survive. Oh, my God. I, I also love and hate raccoons. Like, I... I, <laughs> I, 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 I no, I don't hate raccoons. I just, like, I don't really want to be near one. But, like, if I ever see one, I'm just, like... <laughs> like, there's one that comes in our backyard. And I try to scare it off because I don't want it in our backyard. That's gross. Mm-hmm. They can spread rabies. Yeah. There's cats back there. My cat lives back there. He's eating my cat's food. Get the fuck out of my backyard. But they got little hands. They look like little bandits. Yeah. They're that, fucking... That reminds they're me so of cute. something. They wash um, food. I mean, they they're do. just they're very smart. Like, um, no. They're so, little eyes. So we have like a, a bit of a spider problem around our house and yeah. uh, where we put our trash cans, so the spiders will crawl from a bush nearby yeah. and they'll make little nests on our trash cans. <laughs> and Jacob took the trash out the other day. No. And as we all know here on the Arcane Lounge podcast, Jacob is afraid of spiders. So he set the trash bag next to the I trash can. I tried so, so hard. That the, I couldn't. So that I could later put yeah. it in. So um, and you brought me those Cinnabon Delights and I didn't finish them. And I think a raccoon oh. went into the bag. Pulled out the Cinnabon delights <laughs> and then had a little. We snack. came back home and there was the the trash can. The trash bag was open and the only thing out was the Cinnabon delight bag and they were all gone. <laughs> He's just like, oh, he was. <laughs> that's funny. Like yeah. that's I don't Talk really care. I was why like, is it two yeah. or twelve? That's why. Why, 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 why is it two <laughs> or twelve? Give me a four pack. Yeah, please. give me a four. Maybe uh, a six. I was, I was like, I was like, I, I I want twelve. I was telling Mia. She, I was like, okay. She's like, okay, you only eat like three and the rest. Is, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like. I don't know. I know she's not going to finish them. No. But I have to order 12 because I definitely want two myself. And I'm not going to just bring you two. Mm-hmm. Well. Because what if you wanted three? Well, you, That's exactly yeah. what I had. You just have to go to the two and get three orders of them. So you get six. Yeah. But it's, yeah. it's, it's cheaper but to it's get 12. But it's cheaper to get 12. Is it really? Yeah. Yes. What Taco Bell? The fuck are you Why doing? Why not make a six option? Yeah. I could share it. They, okay. We had Taco Bell last night and I was like, I'm giving it another chance because I've been fucking I'm I'm learning so love again. sick yeah. of Taco Bell. I just, I'm sick of it. And I was like, I'll try something else to see if I like it again. Yeah. It was just all right. And like Taco Bell, man, Taco it's Bell so was so good. good. Like, t- like when I was in high school, like eight yeah. years ago, it was so, so good. Like I love Taco Bell. They had all these great menu items. And then like, I feel like in the fa- past few years, they just have this weird shit on there. You have to buy 12 Cinnabon Delights. They're still all right. Like, it's okay. They're, like, it's they're the only great. place that I can Baja get Baja. Baja Blast is good, but that's about it. That's good. I like the nacho cheese. Nope. You're, the, the only thing I like from Taco Bell is the nacho cheese. This is the, yeah. that's my favorite part. And she hates it. And I'm just like, we just like it for it, different it reasons. It can be on, like, one thing that I order, but I can't have it I will get. I will get a burrito that already has the nacho cheese in it and dip it, it in yeah. nacho cheese. It's yeah. so fucking I good. I yeah. I, I get that. That makes sense. Just, yeah, they're just all right. They're just, they just kind of went downhill. DoorDash really fucked up. <laughs> they really lowered their standards. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, spiders are the worst. I hate them so much. Just, my fear has only increased. Yeah. yeah. We have, because uh, our side door, there's also a bush there. Mm-hmm. And our, also our trash cans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But what they'll do is they'll build a web from the trash can to the bush. Yeah. But my door's there. So sometimes at certain days, we'll walk through a whole ass spider web. And you're like, well, yeah. sorry, stop sorry. doing it. Yeah. Stop. <sighs> stop fucking doing it. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Yeah. It's the worst. That's that's what happened the other day. I was cleaning stuff out of our backyard, yeah. and I was taking it to the trash can, and I came around our house yeah. and walked past the bush to the trash can, yeah. and I just walked through one, and I was like, never doing that again. Yeah. Never, ever, I will ever. say this. I tend to be very... I, I participate in... Uh, you know, Darwin's evolution. Mm-hmm. If I go over and there's a spider and a spider web, if there's something in it, you don't die. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. If there's nothing in it, you die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're not catching anything, you're not doing nothing. There's mm-hmm. not some kind of symbiotic relationship. You're gone. Yeah. <laughs> What's it catching though? Spiders. It's, it's small little gnats. Yeah. 
little, little, little flies. I'd rather have a gnat in my house than a spider. Fuck that. No. No. Mm-mm. You serious? Fuck that. No. no. Gnats. They, they, gnats go, I'm in your drink now. Yep. They'll drown in the water. Fuck that. Yeah. No. A spider will never drown in water. No. Nope. It'll just kill you. <laughs> No, no. If it's a bad one, I kill it. Yeah, you have to bit. Yeah, I'm not going. Hello, Black Widow. You can live in my home. Fuck that. Oh, that's what I was thinking. No, but it's just a regular spider that I that is definitely not going to hurt me. Okay, okay, okay. In like the corner of my kitchen, like daddy long legs. legs? Anything. Yeah, any kind of spider that's definitely not a one that's going to poison me. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I I understand. That's the that's the terrible. I will say I I I don't think I'm afraid of daddy long legs because I know they're harmless and they mostly just kind of. They like their bites can't even hurt you. Yeah. They don't bite people at all, no. and they really only just get they little bugs. Like, any okay spider that. that can do that, like little front leg, it's like fuck you, mm-hmm. fuck you. If it try, if it tries to intimidate me, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> like okay, <laughs> you thought you, you With thought you gun, really did something, poison. but you didn't. I have a chonkla, and you're gonna fucking go to it. <laughs> I'm gonna fling it at you. You're gonna die. Yeah. You're gonna get crunched by rubber, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're no, gone. The- the spiders that uh, are in that bush over there are black widows. Yeah, fuck so they, that. they climb onto our trash cans and then it's yeah. like ten o'clock at night on a Sunday, it's like I gotta take them out and yeah. they're like, I'm here. Don't touch me. I just wanna say I I look at their webs a lot. They don't catch shit. I've never seen a web. There's tons in our garage. I don't see anything in there that see? like gets caught in the webs. Get They're the, useless. They're by, just living in the, there. The, the the like the little they're not pillars, the things but on the front of our house, they have spiders and there's a bunch of dead bugs in them. See, those ones could get, get to stay. Mm. And then their offspring will learn. Yeah. The people don't get me if, if, I, if, if, I, eat if I commit, the, yeah, if gonna, I do something. Before we move, I'm, sp- I'm, getting, I'm spraying the whole damn house because you should. Uh, because we I, I'm going to need to throw stuff away. There's stuff yeah. in our garage we need to get out, and I'm not fucking, I'm not going to have anybody yeah. get bit by something. That's, yeah. my, that's, that's, my garage. that's my favorite thing is that I pay for pest control, and it's yeah. super affordable because where we live. Yeah, my mom and was telling me about easy. it. We need to get it. I love it so much. Yeah. Uh, I can't. To be honest, I can't speak highly uh, more more highly than than about my pest control company. I pay almost nothing, mm-hmm. and I've not seen a bug. And like, f- I mean, I've seen bugs because they come in to die, mm-hmm. but I've not had like an issue in like five six yeah, years. Yeah, no. uh, man, I've never lived in a house like this one where it's like the issue is spiders. We have so I think many. It's, uh, it's, we live near like. The orchards. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing behind yeah. us. There's yeah. like for for like a mile, two miles or something. I looked on Google Maps. I didn't know until like a few months ago. I thought there was at least something behind us. There's no, nothing. No, nothing o- that way. Open fields. Open the fields. That's why we get raccoons and possums. Yeah. yeah. And our new house doesn't have that. And to be honest, I'm kind it's of also kind why of excited for that. we get uh, stray cats. Because people drive so, out here and they throw them out. Yeah, drop them out in the stray cats. We have at least five in our And they're all friendly. And it's like, I know Don't someone threw you out of their car. Don't drop off your animals in the middle yeah. of nowhere. The yeah. SPCA will take them. Just yeah. fucking take them. We just uh, recently they, moved into the middle of the city and we have like a roach. There's roaches everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. But they, 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 they don't get through the, the, the line. Yeah. They die, but they come in and then die. Yeah. yeah. At like any threshold. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you're scared that like the SPCA has too many cats, so they're just gonna put cats down, you, you're just killing them by throwing them in a the backyard, anyways. Like you, they're lucky if they find some two people who care enough to give them fucking their cats mm-hmm. cat food. You know, I don't like them. They eat my cats' food. I want them. I don't want them here. I'm ge- I'm gonna call the SPCA and have them come take the cats. Go to the same fucking place. It's either gonna die or it's gonna die. Like either take care of it or give it to some people who could probably take care of it. Fuck. Anyways. <clears throat> also apparently cats are like destroying the bird population or something birds that and sucks. lizards fucking yeah. shut up we put our cats outside I, I, I'll, I'll publicly say that and I know we shouldn't but I know that those three fucking idiots don't catch birds <laughs> I promise they don't and, and if it's like a territorial lizards. thing no. then like coffee cake has brought probably ten lizards into our house and has killed none of them she brings them lizards. into the house not, to not. go she mother look what them. I have caught and then lets it go and it runs behind the bookshelf. Yeah. And I have to <laughs> pull the bookshelf out and be like, come here. Uh, I don't know how you do that. I don't know if I'd ever touch anything like that. A lizard? Dude, yeah, she's no. like a fucking, sure animal handler. I can only, I only, I can only I imagine. I was doing it like nine months pregnant. I can only imagine that I probably would after several instances, but I don't know if I could psych myself up enough to do that. I had to, I had to give myself up to just get the broom to get rid of that snake that was by our, our garage. Oh, that fucking fuck thing. that. Yeah, no, no, no. Snake. I, that. And that thing coiled up too at one point. It went, it went like that. And I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm like, like, all right. Well, no and more. she started getting close to it. And I was like, no, you have a baby. I wasn't going to pick it up. You live here now. I was going to, I was just going to push him. Yeah, scoot him out. Yeah. 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 I was scared though because there were, there's black windows all around our house. And I was really scared to let the cats outside. But I found out that 
I guess it's like hard for them to get bit by bugs because they got so much fur. So yeah, the black was not gonna fleas? dig in there and try and yeah, deal with yeah. it. This the only reason we run. get bit by bugs so easily is because it's just oh, it's right there. Oh, no fur. Yeah, they, 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 their skin it just hits the skin. It's on the fur. They gotta work hard to try to bur- oh. bite one of those guys. My AirPod died and it scared me. Oh. <laughs> 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 um all right all right uh so our first question comes in, i just saw it on the notifications first uh comes in from rune smith staying inside uh who would win in a fight with 15 minutes of prep time in an empty mall <laughs> in an empty mall <laughs> batman or big bird <laughs> batman yeah I mean, with but he only has 15 minutes of prep time that's, that's batman's always it's prepared still big bird what what if he can't do it Kill what if Big Batman? Bird? What if Batman like he is it a fight Big to the Bird. death? Is Big Bird a criminal? Batman doesn't kill okay, criminals. Okay, okay, but you're still you're st- I, I I'm willing to walk down that line with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you need to flip it. Is Big Bird then going to kill a person? You, you think Big Bird's more committed to death than what Batman? What if Big Bird gets so scared that he does something he'll regret? See, Big Bird doesn't <laughs> he does have, something he'll regret. He, he, ba- Batman he doesn't have has any the control. Focus. He has the I training. See. Batman would be like. I can't kill this bird. He's just a sweet little guy. He talks to... Well, he's a sweet big guy. He just talks to people on, on Sesame Street. Oscar the Grouch. Um, I'm friends with that guy. I would assume intel. Batman I, I would can't. be able to... And then Big Bird's just like, Oh, no. <laughs> Batman's after me. And then he would like... He'd just peck, he'd just peck okay. him. Okay. Okay. L- Logan specifically said, In a fight. Not to the death. Oh, in a fight okay. they're fighting? Batman, for sure... He would just do but his I, little... I definitely think he right. wouldn't try and... What about this? We've seen Batman die before. We've never seen Big Bird die. Wow. We almost did. My conclusion? Big Bird's immortal. Well, though. I, I, and I've seen Big Bird break down some doors on Vine. Br- b- uh, yeah, he ha- oh, yeah, that's that right. That bitch gets in. He's, he's strong. And... He's strong. I think he has a little bit of a foresight. A little bit of future sense. <laughs> Big Bird was supposed to be on the Challenger. He, that, that's what it's called. <laughs> he was. And he oh, wasn't. sorry. No. What? Yeah, yeah. Big Bird was. <laughs> this is real. Big Bird was supposed to be on the Challenger, but <laughs> you know the rocket ship that exploded uh-huh. <laughs> that caused the death of multiple astronauts. But <laughs> but like last minute, they were like, nah, maybe not. <laughs> he was like, he took pictures with the astronauts, and then he didn't go. <laughs> I wonder why. Whoa. I'm just I saying. I think Big Bird would surprise. I didn't us. know that Big Bird survived the Challenger. I, I, I might have to change my 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 vote. And also, Batman gets gets his shit kicked in constantly. Bane just went in, and his back broke. I don't think he went it's in. Fucking Bane. I, I think I think Bane lifted <laughs> went, him up and broke him over his knee. Went, yeah. But I think I think Big Bird is probably strong enough to do this. Fucking thing. Batman would stand up and he'd be like, "Oh, Big Bird, you're so tall. And you can't look up at him because his back hurts." And Big Bird, it would like get all dark, and the violin would go. Ee! And his and his eyes would get all dark, and he would just like like that door. Yeah. Batman would go, and he just fly away. But Big Bird's also like ninety percent stomach. <laughs> <laughs> like ninety percent of his body is a round punching. But Batman. what if like Bat- Batman punches him, and it's like when when uh, when Trevor punches Dracula in Castlevania, he hits him, but like nothing happens. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, it's like that guy with SpongeBob. Yeah, it, yeah, it could be. You know what? You guys, I'm just saying. It have you sounds guys seen, um, Brazilian sounds wrong. Big Bird. With what? Brazilian Big Bird. He looks like this. Oh my God! He's a crack oh, addict. God. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! He's a grommet. <laughs> he's, oh, he's, he's he's a bit of a grommet, ain't he? <laughs> I, I didn't know they were different. I thought he would just just spoke Spanish. <laughs> nope. <laughs> There's a bunch of them apparently. That's cool. Like the yeah. different birds. Yeah. You know what? I, I'll say this: if it's just Batman versus Big Bird, Batman. If it's Batman versus Big Birds. Oh, like whoa, all whoa, of them? Whoa, 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 whoa. All different. Like Power Ranger forms of Big Bird. Oh. Big Bird, Batman goes away. A Big Bird goes down, picks up Batman. He <laughs> drops wobbles, him. drops him, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. Yeah. Fucking Big Bird done. can't fly. He's only got 15 minutes of prep. Okay, he's got 15 minutes of prep time, so maybe... He's got a parachute. He, maybe he's got a parachute. Of course Peck. he does. He's Pecks Batman. The parachute. Pecks the parachute. <laughs> done. It, Batman's destroyed by a large bird. <laughs> Why are there... Is there any... Any... Okay, there's Man Bat. There's That's one of his villains that is yeah. big and can fly. Mm-hmm. How does he ever fight him? Because uh, I think he finds him a lot of the times in like a cave. Oh, he idiot. finds he finds Stupid. them when he's sleeping. Pe- Penguin can't fly. A vulture. If Vulture was in Batman, he'd just pick. He'd just be gone. He'd be he, done. Yeah, but that is, hook, that is Batman's one weakness. Open is that field. He can't fly in open field. Yeah, no but, buildings. Yeah, okay, he but can't he can't fucking but he grapple. Can fly. Because he has a fucking jet. 
He just yeah, he just shoot the fucking missile. Oh shit. <laughs> He just there's, there's, there's he a breaks thing. a jet, but no, but no. Logan specifically said they're in a mall. They're in an empty mall. He can't fit the jet and in the mall. It's just Big Bird, and then a fucking jet flies. In. He just nukes it and leaves. One of Landon's documentaries he was watching told me that whoever I don't know where this is from. Whoever, um, whenever they would call a tactical airstrike with like Apache helicopter, they'd call it God Zipper. Because what? because of the sound of like the Gatling gun on the bottom of it, the way it would sound is it like annihilated whatever it was attacking. Oh my god! So that's what I think about. You're like, what do you do? Well, he he probably would Apache. That's yeah. what he probably He's do. Like, okay, Batman, let's. <laughs> <laughs> Batman doesn't have guns though. Yeah, Batman doesn't he, kill valid. people. You're right. His 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 Batman he probably may not shoot have... just a fucking missile at. <laughs> that's true. He'd be like, here's a. A, a rope and wrap them up. Yeah. Batman won't kill Big Bird. He Big doesn't Bird? kill people. That's what I've been saying. Oh my but god! But Big Bird I'm does. So, I'm so sorry, Spencer. But Big I wasn't Bird listening. does. I'm so sorry. Christ, Big Bird. He he might. Big Bird has the resolve. If he was afraid, oh. you tell me if Rachel Ghoul went to Big Bird instead, he would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> he would have let Gotham burn. <sighs> Maybe Elmo. You would fuck it. <laughs> Big bird. To be honest, I'm not gaslit enough, or I'm just willing to to, to see it happen. I don't know. I support. It's, that 15 minutes of prep time doesn't really give him enough, though. I don't think it's enough for. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it does anything for Big Bird. It does a lot for Batman, I think. Batman's in an empty mall, and he's told in 15 minutes Big Bird's gonna come and fight you. What does he prepare? I don't know. Is he, he, he would. I think Batman would just try to talk him down. Well, yeah, Batman would be like, Big Bird would I just. Ha- I've. I I watch Sesame Street as a child. I, I'm I'm a Shit. big fan. He's like, this is for Elmo, you fucking rich son of a bitch. Eat the rich. <laughs> like, that's oh, what it would be. He is. He, he, he would, would be against. He's like, you the did rich. nothing for the Sesame Street. Yeah. What about the kids? Yeah. Whoa. What about the kids on Sesame Street, Bruce? Yeah. The, you know what? I he knows his secret identity. Well, he's got all of Sesame Street to help him out, and he's got 15 he minutes. That's an average episode length. You know what? Now that I think about it, I don't think Big Bird could do it because he didn't have a cause. If he was there to avenge some like orphaned kids that the brain, the 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 the, the Wayne Foundation forgot about, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, okay. And so he's gone. and then and he's then gone. fifteen minutes of prep time with his friends, he'd be like, the count would be like three, two dead parents, <laughs> uh. and then Elmo Elmo would be like, B is for Bruce Wayne, and like he would tell him. <laughs> Yeah. He'd um, ride him out that they way. They'd find out. Whoa. They'd find out. Maybe, Shit. maybe little Bruce. Maybe some. Maybe, maybe Thomas and Martha Wayne were shot in an alley right next to Sesame Street. Maybe that's the show they went and saw. Yeah. They, maybe they were. It was. It was. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was Elmo's world. It's Elmo's world now. <laughs> it is. I was like, it is Elmo's world. It's Elmo's golf. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'd pay to go see Batman, but all the villains are Elmo or like uh, Sesame Street. Oh characters. my god. Batman's the real one, but everybody else is a puppet. Yeah. That would make the Riddler kind of funny. Oh my god. Kind of, maybe it was just Grover. No, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I love that video on TikTok. What's long and hard? It has <laughs> come in the middle. A penis. <laughs> No, no, the answer was cucumber. <laughs> so stupid. All right, thanks for that one, Logan. Oh, fucking. That really be setting us up. Paul and Monk uh, underneath it, but stealing our drunken hypothetical without crediting me, bruh. And Mario Sack put Big Bird. Is this like a, a debate you guys have been having? Probably. Shit. Just solved it, just saying. Yeah. All right, let me let me go back to the hashtag here. Uh, Jack says, Jack, the, the Joe Leary, oh, shit. 97, asks, I'm Hi, friends. I'm a fan. I just woke up from a nap where I had a dream that I was on a sinking ship and was desperately attempting to save my D&D stuff. Oh my god. Fuck. Priorities. What are some good slash scary slash weird dreams you guys have had recently? Literally last night, the one I told you about. Yeah. I had a dream. You know what? I've been talking a lot. Why don't you fucking say what your weird dream was? Because you had a, you've had quite a few weird dreams in the past. I had a dream last night that you got a bunch of tattoos and you got a very poorly done Joker on your leg. What the fuck? Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> that, like, is, that is a really strange meme. Like, full color, oh. but real bad. <laughs> yeah, it was on that the leg. Joker. It was. It was, like, just his head. Oh, my God. <laughs> which, but like, which Joker? I don't know. Like, you gotta know. Like, like, it was so Like poor, a cartoon one. Oh, like, like, like Mark like, Hamill? Yeah, like Mark okay. Hamill. Oh, you know, I'd do that. Mm-mm. <laughs> I could. I don't think I can handle having Heath Ledger. 
Yeah, no, it wasn't Heath. It was it was like a like a cartoon one, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. That's fine. Not that I don't like mm-hmm. I I like Heath Ledger, but as a tattoo? Mm, I don't know about that. Yeah. For me. Yeah, no. Yeah. Somebody else got Heath Ledger, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, you don't have to you explain. You have a weird dream recently, Craig? Mm. No, but I keep talking about that one about what uh, Lance said. That mm. one where he was uh, he was Anakin. Oh, <laughs> and he yeah. was going door to door with everyone telling about people's yeah. younglings. I, yeah. Do you so when you dream, are you like aware you're dreaming? Yeah, or, okay. uh, I'm out nine. I would say nine percent of the time I'm lucid dreaming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I never know. I think it's real life you until know, I wake up. I wake up and I go, I gotta wait, <laughs> and yeah. then I realize it was a dream. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've never ever lucid dreamed. Mm-hmm. My brain is so convinced of whatever I is reality. That, yeah. That it, that's why you guys can gaslight me so yeah. easily because I'll just believe it. When when I was a kid, I used to have a reoccurring nightmare that you know the the noon from uh, Teletubbies. Oh no! I had a dream that it was putting me in a blender and making me in a tubby custard. Oh Jesus! Horrible. That that is a genuine yeah. nightmare. With it the was sound terrible. That... <laughs> yeah. That's, That's horrible. The sound it makes. Wow. Yeah. We called the we had a pool when I was little and it had the 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 vacuum, the vacuum that yeah. goes you know the pool yeah. vacuum. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We called it the new new. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Don't fuck with it. No. Last night, I had a dream that at the time that I was having the dream, it was a nightmare. Yeah. But when I woke up, I realized, and when I'm go- I realized it wasn't scary. And when I'm going to tell it to you right now, it's not going to sound scary. But it was. But for some reason, I was terrified. <laughs> yeah. So dreams never have a good start. So there, I walk in the house. I find out that our car um, is outside. Uh, I look mm-hmm. at my phone because our car has an app mm-hmm. and it tells me that like the windows are down. So I was like, that's weird. So I go out and I, and our car's in the front driveway. There's these two ladies <laughs> who are just like re- 20, 30 year old white women with blonde hair yeah. who are like, you shouldn't put your car in your garage. And I was like, uh, I ha-. and then I vividly remember saying, no, it gets really hot outside and it's, it, the car's black and I have a baby and I don't want to burn her. So I need to put it in the garage. And they were like, oh, okay. So I pull the car in the garage and I get out and I, and I go to charge it and, uh, and, and they're like, um, and, and then they're there still. And they're like ridiculing me for not bringing my car back outside. And I was like, you need to go, like, leave me alone. And they were like, no, you're horrible. And we want your car. And I was like, <laughs> uh, I'm going to call the police. So I go onto my phone and I like, I walk away for some reason and I'm trying to call the police, but my phone won't do it. Yeah. And I think, but it's. For some reason, I can't get my phone to call the police. Yeah. And it's probably because it's a dream. But in the moment, I'm like, they hacked my phone. They did something to my phone because I didn't even see them take my car. Who are these beings? Yeah. Who are these white ladies that have like, take, whatever. So I go back and they're like, uh, 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 oh no, now I'm inside. I've gone inside the house. Uh, Emma lives with us. Uh-huh. Emma also doesn't have arms or legs. <laughs> But Whoa. she has like Lazarus metal arms and legs. Oh hell yeah, then. Um, and but like prostheses, not yeah. like cool like your well oh. cool still, but like not like Lazarus's yeah. you know mechanical magic arms. They're like like she physically can't. Yeah. You know she doesn't have them and they don't really bend. Yeah. But I don't know how she walks around. And she goes, "Hey Jacob, can I show you this costume I have?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, sure." <laughs> and her head can come off. She had a head transplant, and mm-hmm. she's able to put. This like Star Wars battle droid, you know, the battle droids from Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. She can attach them to her. She can take off her arms and her legs and her head and her head can become a battle droid and her arms and her legs can become <laughs> battle droids. And I was like, oh my God, that's really cool. Yeah. I can't believe you have that. Like, that's insane. I never thought about people who, you know, don't have arms and legs can like have a cool costume like this. But at this point in my dream, she's fully morphed into a battle droid. Her body is a battle droid as well. <laughs> like Roger, Roger. Yeah. But she's talking like my sister. And then I go... How do you breathe? I'm like, I'm questioning, I'm questioning my dream. And then it's like, my dream goes, don't think about that. And it moves on and I'm around you and you're calling me on the phone saying, Jacob, we just got kidnapped by Tesla. (laughs) They have, they have your baby. They have, they have your wife. They have Emma. And I'm like, Emma was right here. She's the battle droid. They took all her pieces. So I go to my car and they've hacked my car because they took it earlier and they're going to compound my vehicle. So I get in and I'm like, I have to go save them. So I get in the car and I start to drive 
I don't know how I know where you guys are, but I start to drive to where you yeah. guys are and they've hacked my car. So the car, do you know what it does? It has these little arms that come down and they start putting stickers on me. And the way I, I remember seeing them is that they're green stars. And they put they pull one on my hand and they pull one on my arm. And I'm like, I don't care what this is. I'm going to go save my family. And I'm like, I keep going and I keep driving. And then I get a notification on my phone and it says, if you continue with your course of action, we're going to start, we're, we're going to disable your body parts. And it's because of the stickers. And it starts saying, we are, because you've continued, we're depowering your arm. And my hand goes numb. And I'm like, fuck so I just tear off the sticker but then the car has like an alarm and I'm freaking out and I'm like trying to swerve off the road and my body's slowly going numb and I wake up <laughs> whoa yeah. I woke up and I went I had a scary dream and I went back to sleep yeah that was a journey I don't even remember what my that other dream was. almost had three acts and a, and a resolution yeah. I just want to say going on. that in like a week I will never remember that again I probably will because I just said it but not all the little nuances my dreams are fucking insane, dude. That that's like normal. Wow. That yeah. every it's so stressful. <laughs> wow. It's the melatonin. It's probably the melatonin, yeah. but I, I can't sleep without it. Yeah. It's weird. So that's what you gotta do? Yeah. Um. I feel you, Jack. Trying to get your D and D stuff off of a boat that's slowly it's sinking. sinking. Um. My mom, when I was little, used to be able to be like, "Oh, I know what your dream means." Oh. Yeah. And yeah. so yeah. So I don't know. Ask what her. does that one mean? You ask her about that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Emma was a battle droid. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> no idea. It's awfully cool though. Maybe it's that because she works for me, I'm treating her like she's a robot. Maybe. Is that how you feel? Maybe the maybe I'm trying to. Maybe on my journey to try to be closer to all of you, I'm losing myself. By the green stickers making my arms numb from the yeah. corrupted Tesla company with two white ladies who are going to uh, steal everything from me. Could be. I don't know. I think it was nonsense. <laughs> it could have been. Could have been nonsense. I just thought it was weird that there was a point in time in the dream where I was like questioning it. I was like, wait, how do you breathe? I remember thinking in my dream, I should Google. I've never thought about people having head transplants. I've never thought. That's weird. I've never thought about that. And then the dream moved on. I was like, oh, I guess I'm not thinking about that anymore. Because I, I guess we're going to skip over. What the fuck? That's all coming out of my brain? Is there a little guy in there? Yeah. Making that up? He's like, I think it's you. you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you broke him. Yeah, we're going to move on from that. Okay. Um, all right. Let's look at the uh, let's look at the hashtag here uh, from latest uh, going down. Those are just on my notifications. I just looked at them. Um, <clears throat> I scroll back up here. Uh, whew, quite a few. Quite a few. I just got to scroll up. Sorry, guys. It's just might take me a second. Uh, okay. Uh, Isabella Bartholomew asks, which critical role character would you want th th the most or the least to be transported into Evenfall? Oh, you guys asked this last week. We already answered it. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's just that I've been behind on podcast uploads. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Weasley65 asks, Jacob, why do you hate Colton's PCs? <laughs> Colton hates his, his own, I think. You don't hate them. I don't. I you really, love them. really don't hate Colton's You'll feel, PCs. You, you always Promise. feel real bad. And then Colton goes, it's fine, man. It's fine. And then we move on. And he makes another one. And then he goes, hey, Mia, can you throw me? And then she does. I I, and I don't think it was Colton's fault. No. I, it it I rarely ever I, is I, I, Colton's fault. We definitely, as as a triad, minus you, put <laughs> ourselves to go in to the very bathroom. dangerous positions. Because yeah. it was for me. I think the only one that in recent memory that was Colton's fault was core dying and not even that it wasn't even really his fault it's just several times he forgot that the enemy that we were we are fighting exploded i talked about this in the discord and i'll just repeat it here colton likes to make risky plays yeah in ever i know i know that boy so well that he likes to he likes to make real high risk high reward plays it's how it's how he plays most video games mm -hmm. and um Sometimes when you play, when you play risky, so it doesn't, it's statistically not always going to go your way, mm -hmm. but a lot of the times it does. If you go watch tomb and you watch Ira, that's a character where like most of his risky 
uh, I could die in this moment plays work out. He had real good luck in that game, and it's most because he was had he was a bard and he rogue and he had great skills and he was just real good at what he was doing. Um, and but if you look at other games where he's where where he's doing this, sometimes he gets to be real cool, and then sometimes it falls and he falls hard, and that sometimes means he dies. And it's just the way he plays. Colton, Colton used to play very safely. He used to be like real safe. And then he realized that it's funny and it's fun. also fun to play risky. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've we've now absolutely named like the Colton strat to being like jumping on top of the monster that everybody's trying to fight. You know, that's how he plays D&D now. And um, sometimes he throws himself into a building that has two slots in it. And he tries to solo a slot. And what he and in his mind, he's hoping that he can just like slam dunk this encounter. Like when he one v one the basilisk, yeah. As 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 Bryn, that was that was one moment where like, hey, it's worked. It, worked it popped out. off. See, I it worked think out. That, I think that is almost exactly my point, and that encompasses it entirely. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think Colton's all all most of their deaths are circumstantial. Yeah, because in that basilisk fight, it was not decided that Colton was going to do that. Yeah. we all decided dance, <laughs> dance for me. <laughs> Because I could have went, why don't you throw me in? Then we're like, no, nah, throw cold. It's <laughs> funny. Yeah. But I think there's a reason why. And I think it's just because, like... Some people just are willing to be the, the cannonball. Uh, yeah, the cannon. yeah, yeah. Yeah, of it course. Yeah. And, but it's funny because and Mia really likes to poke things in yeah. the game. And you would associate that with being the person who's going to die more often. But it's weird because, she, like, she rarely ever hits zero hit points. Like, yeah. immolation is, is, like, the way Mia plays, it's, yeah. it's weird how, like... I want to call it lucky, but at this point I feel like she's just safe with how she does her, her experimentations. Um, and I think Colton is just not. <laughs> and Colton had no way of knowing that there were two slots in that building. Yeah. And, and, and to Colton's benefit, most of that combat that Colton spent in that tower was backpedaling and trying to get out. Yeah. So like it was immediately established. Oops. It was, oh. I just wanted to see what's going on here. Now yeah. I've, now I need to figure out how to get uh, out of the situation. I just couldn't creature that would typically be hostile isn't affecting me in any way i'll go downstairs oh oh no i've messed yeah. up back up trying back to get up. out can't now both are attacking me yeah. this is terrible and then you Absolutely. and then you die it just happens what's it called don't split the party that I'm is what saying. it's called um well, i mean we are on the same tile though and We're on the same map that's true yeah. that's true and uh ira did die technically technically yeah, I know. technically he did technically <laughs> I know. he didn't <laughs> While splitting the party, he jumped he on a car and a then wagon. he broke his fucking neck. I will always say he was in a car accident. Falling, he was falling and momentum are death senses. Yeah, any RPG. that's what it was. He got pushed off not. a moving cart yep. and broke his neck. Do not fall or go too fast. You will kill yourself. You were talking about how your portals keep momentum. So if anybody yeah. ever teleports while they're falling, they keep the same momentum. Yep. That's so cool. Because they just fucking die. That's just yeah. how it works. But it's a really fun way to experiment. With portals in your yeah. game. Like, okay, I want to get up there, yeah. but it's 50 feet away. Could you and fight? I only have Misty Step. I'm going to jump and then Misty Step 30 feet up with my momentum to fling myself up. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's you, fine. You, you that's can do so it. Cool. You can absolutely do that. Mm-hmm. But half the time, it's just always like, I'm falling. I'm going to go sideways. You know, like, that's just going to splatter you across yeah, the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Splat. I've only ever had it twice. And to be honest, both times they were kobolds. So, ah. like, they were already kind of, it's just kobold energy. Or Jay splatting himself against that dome. That oddly enough, not the first time that happened. Right. <laughs> that, that happens a lot. You did warn us several times. If you try to teleport, you will go splat. Yep. Only because it's happened to someone before. Yeah. And I was like, oh wait, wait, hang on. We yeah. make sure this is very close. Movement is deadly. Don't don't do it. Yeah, lethal. You're gonna get bifrosted you into walk. the dome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Tiger Bomb asks, we all know that CR isn't a very accurate way of rating monster difficulty. Do you have an alternate system slash method for determining encounter difficulty that you hope a Wizards of the Coast implements? Not a hard one. No, I don't really yeah. have like a, like a, like a, this is a rule I use. Like mm-hmm. I, I, I try to just look and gauge. Mm-hmm. Like I look at health. I look at how much damage they do. I look at the resistance immunities and like what, wh- how much movement they have. And I kind of guess, well... Have they fought something like this before? Yeah. Is it sort of similar? Could they handle this? And I kind of go, yeah, they can. Mm-hmm. Could be, this could, yeah, I think that they can handle this. Um, but that is just, honestly, it's just experience from from me running so many games no. and knowing the party's strengths. Like that comes within like the first five games every time they level up, learn new abilities. And then I look at things and go, okay, they could handle this. And then yeah. sometimes I go, mm, I don't think so. 
Um, so yeah, I try to, I do use a different system with fallout though that I wrote, which is just, they don't have CR instead. It's like, um, I guess it kind of uses the same thing to be honest. It's, I just go easy, medium or hard. Mm -hmm. And if the fight was easy, then uh, you get this much XP. And if the fight was hard, then you get this much XP. Yeah. But I don't calculate it beforehand. I just go, eh, you're going to fight this. Yeah. See what happens. No, I think that's a good way to see it. Because mm -hmm. I think that's pretty much most ways to handle anything. I would say find an you like, and then lie. Yep. <laughs> just change it on the fly. Do what you mm -hmm. want to do. If it needs to do more, if do like more. two rounds go by, and, and, less, and, and less. the health is way too, so much more than you thought yeah. it was, just lower the health. Yeah, there's doing. also a lot of people that are very, very smart online that I can vaguely remember someone talking about how you should take an enemy and calculate how much damage you want them to deal consistently and is that because you're going to deal at least a third or half a person's health and then kind of check out to see how that works out because you want mm -hmm. them to kind of be a threat yeah. sometimes. Or if you want them to do more threat, do, 60, do, do like 75% of the chance or yeah. whatever you want to do. But Yeah. yeah. CR dumb. Yeah, CR is a very... It feels like a catch-all, but it's not. It's, mm -mm. Because it's very uh, Tativlis versus Sunder Party kicked our ass. Tativlis versus the Evenfall Party. Leveled Evenfall Party. One Died turn. in a round. And that's the thing. And that's why I, I see that a lot. I see a lot of people give that advice. And maybe I'm just contrarian. But I I don't like the advice of, well, just calculate how much how many rounds you think it'll last and yeah. how much damage it'll do to your party. And that that's a good estimate. Yeah. It isn't to me because players have abilities that can surprise you mm -hmm. and they have strategies that they don't want to tell you Absolutely. that they will surprise mm -hmm. you with and they will find ways to be like oh actually i'm going to deal more damage than yeah that, and i'm actually going to take less damage and you'll be like i either you'll forget or you won't just won't see it coming even if yeah. you have their character sheets well, that's they, the best. players are smart they can be smart and they will outsmart you that's the hardest part is like it still be that that like um reactionary improv dm you, you, yeah. you no matter what you're not going to get away from it because even if you do prep they can still wombo combi with a plan that you just didn't know about. And sometimes that's fine. And sometimes you want to reward your party members for being smart. You right. want yeah. them to feel like they did outsmart you and yeah. outsmart the monsters, which is fine. That's that's great. Yeah. But sometimes you want a really challenging battle and characters whip out some that's fucking crazy ass move and you're like, this is going to be really anticlimactic. I I have to adjust the stat block, otherwise it's going to feel like shit. That's why I've... She's crazy. Oh, she's just baby that's why I've about. always done Emma's phases. Yeah, phases with, with something. I dude, because, that's like my new favorite thing to do. Nothing's it's so fun because because it, it, you get to have your cake and eat it too. Nothing's mm -hmm. better than you. It was really only works for bosses or like creatures yes. you want to be important. Yes. A, a null random asshole probably won't do this that well. Right. But Mythic like null. yeah, but like <laughs> nothing's cooler than someone like just smiting and dunking on the fucking bad guy to the point that they get fucking demolished and then have to go into like a second phase. Yeah, yeah. like that's just like a really cool thing because it's like. You just get to defeat him like multiple times. It yeah. really satisfies the DM too because it's once if the paladin smites and and sends them into death. What's cool is that with phases you still get to kind of play the monster. They're yeah. just a little different now, yeah. mm -hmm. so they get to keep going. And you and if you want to, you can make. I like to make them stronger as they go, but yes. you can also make them weaker, which is yes. fun too. You know, and so it makes the party feel like they're they're getting somewhere. That's I love doing that with bosses yeah. now. It's de definitely one of my favorite things to do now. Is like make make them mythic, but like three times over. Yeah. So like they have three health bars basically. Yeah. And if you're like, if you're afraid, Oh, it already has a thousand hit points. We'll just make it, you know, 300, 300, 300. And then it, yeah. that's effectively a thousand. Hit points. I also <laughs> think you get an opportunity that if you're the DM, that's like, I want to make sure I have a player that like knows the monster manual real well. If you do a phase two, you have an opportunity to like scale it in a way mm -hmm. that, and it almost gives you a way to go, okay, let's take a break. Let's reroll initiative or something. I want to start a new combat. So they're, you, you get past that. Cause you're like, yeah. Oh, this is a new thing. This yeah. is clearly a new thing. And it's not just my, Creature got wombo combo in the first round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's cool too because you get to kind of learn as the fight goes on. So like yeah. you could get to phase two and you could maybe change things about phase two. Yeah. But it's it's going to feel better. At least the DM is going to feel like less like you're cheating because you're going, okay, so I'm reacting to what happened in phase one by changing a bit of phase two instead of feeling like you're just changing the stat block as you're going and just negating what the party has yeah. already done. They've made progress defeating phase one is progress and that feels good for both the DM and the players yeah. which is, it's uh, very, just, it's very just rarely so good. do I ever enter combat where I'm not thinking how do I unfuck this Yeah, because it's too much too little or it's not narratively perfect or where it needs to be mm -hmm. sometimes it's just it's hard and CR is definitely not the answer to that exactly yeah. exactly yeah yeah. what do you think? I said what I think you got me there mm -hmm. uh, 
Uh, Catboy Vita Elden Ring Peak asks, Whoa. how's life? Good. Good. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. We're very close to getting the house, which is great. Mm-hmm. Um, Editing Jenny asks, how should I take notes for a session I'm about to run as a DM? How much oh. detail should I go into? And are, and are there any formatting tips? Bullet points. Mm. Bullet points and that little timeline thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's great for me. I... I write my notes now like I write, um, it's like I'm talking to myself. Yeah. I'll go, I want it, I, like my notes, if you read them, it'll say, I want the party to do this and then come across this. Yeah. So what I think I'll do is I'll have this. It's just, it's, I almost like journal. That makes sense. As like, as yeah. I DM. Um, and so, and then what I do is I kind of write out what I want and just get like all the ideas out of my head. Yeah. And then I format it. Because if you try to format first, you'll forget things. At least I will, and then um, you'll you'll skip over some things. Yeah. So I just write a wall of text, and I go okay, and then I do bullet points. Yeah. And then I have bullet points under that, and then I format it again, and like I'll take those bullet points and I'll make them into like actual structures, and then and then I'll make it easy to read while I'm DMing. I, I was gonna so, say that's the most important thing, right? There. Columns, that, yeah. highlighting, bold. I bold italicize important things. I put things in certain spots that I want to remember, and then I've got a page of all of my random notes that are that are uh that i that i want to have for the game because mm-hmm. you have to be able to be able to read it well while you're dming because otherwise not, you're gonna sit there and be like oh yeah you have to wait and or you unfortunately have to read a paragraph and half of its fucking grammar is just ridiculous because yeah. you were just word vomiting before it mm-hmm. yep 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 geez guys sorry spencer i feel like i'm i'm i know um, these questions yeah, are, are it's fine um Artemis asks, uh, what do you do when you're the only one in your friend group with bad internet? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> um, Ooh. man, I don't know. That's, that sucks. Uh, I, I, I mean, my go-to answer is like they're Jack plays these games. They're play by post. Um, and I know oh, yeah. they're not the same, yeah. but I mean, all you have to do is send text. So. That's super mm-hmm. cool. Also, you don't have to necessarily have, um, battle maps or cameras. Just make sure you, if you really want to play, Try theater of the mind and stop trying to stream a uh, video as well. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. get audio in. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't know if how, how how what the situation is. We but, used but you can also call people on a phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't use your internet. We had a guy in my patron game that I did a few years ago or a year ago or so who was um, he was in the army. I don't oh. remember. So he's halfway across the world yeah. and he had pretty rough internet. And what we would do is he would turn off his video. He would, he would be able to turn off our video um, and then he would listen and then he would type to what, what he wanted to do. That's and cool. it actually, it actually worked. Like it was pretty good. I would just keep my eye on the chat and make yeah. sure that I knew what he wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and then sometimes if he had the capability, if he wanted to see the map, w- someone else would actually like discord stream it so that he could watch it. It would oh, be like 240 P, cool. but it's better but than it's loading roll, t- roll 20. Mm-hmm. It's, it's let, it's going to use less. That's a really cool idea, but I didn't think about that doing like a streamed version of someone else's roll 20 versus you having roll 20 up. Mm-hmm. That's really clever. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And then he would just kind of type what he wanted to do. Yeah. And he'd still get to play, but I mean, it, it was better than him not playing, you know, yeah, it was, he was at sense. least there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that sucks. Rolling my saves asks for all, if you could describe your life in a magic card, what would it be? <laughs> mm. Mm. Damn. I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah. Damn. 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 Yeah. I'm taking that one. You're damn. Damn. What about, um, what about, Damnation. <laughs> no, just damn. Blasphemous act. <laughs> yeah. Are you just describe. Are you just d- describing me or yourself there? What I, I was just. I just thought it'd be funny to describe one's life as blasphemous ah. act. Yeah. Um. Uh. Uh. No. I was making sure that the car was called this, but induced amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> Serum visions. <laughs> yeah, it's serum visions, but only that one particular art. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of other cards. Beast within. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, that's some chud stuff. What's yours? Huh? What's yours? Oh fuck. Um, yeah, we're not memeing, Jacob. Sorry, God, I'm Answering trying to think. Yeah, you're, you're, you're real life. What do you, do you have any ideas? Yeah, I said damn. W- damn for, for me? me? No, for me. No, what about me? I don't know. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. I don't know enough magic cards. You'll be a courier bat? Yeah, you'd be courier bat, courier my favorite bat. card. Mm-hmm. Honeymoon mm-hmm. hearse? 
Great oh, there's this new yeah. card in Baldur's Gate. Swamp. It's called... Um, Did you say Swamp? Yeah, swamp! There's a, there's a dead-ass Swamp. There you go. The Cabal Coppers. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Bajuka... <laughs> hang on, hang on. Uh, what's the name of that fucking card? I gotta look it up real quick. Uh, uh, stall! It's gonna be something heinous. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's always mm-hmm. how it is. There's so many yeah. that are like that. And he collects them. What is uh, it, uh... Six fucking soul rings? Yeah, six fucking soul rings. Nine fucking soul rings. Some of those are just ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got some other ones. Like, I don't know if it counts because it's like a creature's like subtitle, but like Mm -hmm. Primal Hunger. Primal? Yeah, I'll be... I'll be insufferable balladeer. Uh. (laughs) (laughs) That's mine. (laughs) Um, Yeah, I know, right? Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Sorry, I don't I'm think I, I don't think I would have ever said this before, but I I miss Chase. Really? Mm-hmm. He's, he's had his time. He's a good boy. His time in the sun. He never did. had his time in the sun on the stream. No, that's why I'm and saying. He probably never will. To be honest, I've never played him on a stream. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Play him in. Play him in. Uh... I know what you're about to say, but I'm I'm not now. Nah. I'm going to play Ridley. <laughs> no. <laughs> Casper, they, them asks, do you enjoy alcoholic beverages? If so, which ones? No. Uh, uh, I like one, one drink. Yeah. It's called a Floridora. What is it? It's, um, it's gin, raspberries, lime, simple syrup. And then you top it with, um, like a, like a tonic water or a club soda. Yeah. Yeah. You take some simple syrup, you put it in a cup, put some raspberries in it. You mash it. Mm-hmm. You make like a raspberry syrup. You could just probably just use that. You add lime. And then you put lime. Don't 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 listen to him. You use fresh of everything. It comes out better. No, nope. no cheaping out. And then you put, um, and then you put like however much gin you want in it, and then you shake it, and then you, you strain didn't. it really good to make sure there's no raspberry seeds and there's there's you know strain it really good into a cup, put mm-hmm. some ice in it, and you top it with ginger ale. Ginger ale. I'm thinking of a, of a... Not ginger beer. It'll be too spicy. Ginger ale. Did you say lime? I said lime. Add lots of lime. It's better that way. <sighs> um, you, you I like... made it so many times for you. Because it's, um, my, it's the yeah, only yeah. thing I'll drink. I don't really drink much anymore. I used to, and, and it makes my tummy hurt, so I don't really do it anymore. And honestly, I'm better for it. It's fine. Mm-hmm. I, I, I Sometimes I'll, I'll get a fun little cocktail if we go to like a cool restaurant. Yeah. Be like, mm, that was good, but like I don't get crunked. Yeah. It's, it's just, it sucks. What was the one we got... No, a few weeks ago, we went to dinner, the one with the with the chili oil in it. Oh yeah, it had like chili oil on the top. That one was good. I don't remember what it was called. It had like sesame. Yeah, it was very it. good. It, it was, was very good. Yeah, the gin. Yeah, it was nice. Um, but I mean, if I have to choose my favorite alcoholic beverage, probably wine. Mm-hmm. I like wine. Uh, dark and stormy. I like a dark and stormy. It's Those pretty good. good too. Um, but are we talking cocktails? Uh, yeah. I did. Honestly, jalapeno margarita is probably one of my favorites. I love a jalapeno margarita. Um, I, I I like if it's spicy too. It's great. Mm-hmm. Um, I I like Bloody Marys, but it has to be it has to be has to taste a very certain way. It has to be savory. Like if it's sweet, I hate it. Um, it has to taste like cocktail sauce. <laughs> like yeah. it has to be like a pizza. Like mm-hmm. that's what it has to taste like. Not bad. It's um, not or bad. spaghetti. You know. Oh. But uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, one of those is okay with the other one. I'm yeah. Not. yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And I like. Um, my dad really likes old fashions. I, I'm they're all right. They're just, mm. they're real strong. But I'm yeah. just not a big fan. Um, and there's another one I really one like. More. Yeah, Craig, what are you talking about? You love Malibu coconut. Uh, that's what I said. The only thing I like is a blue lagoon. Blue that's because I can't taste it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I will always put myself at risk. Have you ever had a screwdriver? I think so. You can't taste anything. Yeah. Well, I usually you put, prefer something like that because I'm just not a real big liquor person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And because usually what happens is I have a lot of water throughout the day. So it'll hit me really fucking quickly and yeah. it'll go away. Yeah. Because my body's like, okay, we're cycling it out. We're cycling it out. That's how it's she is. I'm drunk for like 45 minutes and then I'm like. Mm. Yeah. I'm not even like, I'm not even buzzed enough. My head gets hot. I get upset by that. And then yeah. I have to pee like three times yeah, and, and then it's gone. You're, yeah. That's what? so funny. That's how she is. Yeah. It's yeah. so weird. No, I'm, but, uh, I'm like the opposite. I, it's slow. It takes a, it takes like. 20 minutes for it yeah, to eventually yeah. get buzzed and then like 
it just spirals and spirals and it lasts for maybe like two and a half hours oh, no. and then it slowly goes away and as it's going away I get a huge headache oh yeah never yeah, yeah. and so what I would do when I was stupid was I it would start to go away and I'd get a bit of a headache and I'd be like I don't want this so I'd just drink more and more and more and more and more mm. and then it would get really bad so um, yeah I think I technically have like alcoholic tendencies mm-hmm. um, because I don't, if I get too drunk, I don't know how to stop. Mm-hmm. And so that's bad. I don't want to be an alcoholic. <laughs> that's good. Self, self, self moderation is yeah. always the key. Uh, it's, co- it, a cocktail it, dinner. Uh, yeah, cocktail month, dinner, a cup of wine month. dinner sometimes. It's fine. But like, I'm, I'm not getting drunk. Yeah, no, it's you're, not, you're, I, 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 mm-hmm. I, I got to be 21. I'm done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm a person that likes being in control of my fat. Faculties. It freaks me out if I wasn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like being yes. in control. I'm very aware that I'm drunk, and it makes me very uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. There's times where it's fun. There's times where, like, if everybody's drunk and we're all being silly, it's a good time. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't always happen, and yeah. sometimes it, you just end up looking like an ass. So, um, but I uh, we make you more of that fireball. I would drink that. Yeah, yeah cuz it's a fun little goofy little I thing. I won't make it too we spicy. We made homemade this time. like years ago we made <laughs> like, homemade like fireball and yeah. it was way too spicy. It was from the D&D cookbook. The D&D cookbook and I kept it yeah. in our pantry and we made Craig try it and he like for some reason vowed to drink all of it yeah. and like it took months. Like yeah, every yeah, time he come over he and had a little sip only, and he go, it was like this much fireball. Yeah, it was a lot. The bottle was pretty Yeah. Pretty it was hefty. huge and yeah. it, but it was so Yeah, it was a mason jar, pretty thick mason uh, yeah. jar. It wasn't just cinnamon. It was like it was chili, pepper. chili peppers in it. It was, it was a lot. spicy. Chili flakes, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was fun. And then he finished it eventually. Yeah. Definitely a fun like event drink. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even yeah. fuck with that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm just really happy because I, I wouldn't feel this way had I not had, like, the worst pain I've ever had one night after, like, binge drinking, like, two years ago mm-hmm. and um, waking up and having, like, the worst stomach pain ever where, like, I was vomiting bile all day and I, I literally, literally never, and my insides just burned like it was the worst. And mm-hmm. I, I was like, I don't ever want to feel that again, so yeah. I'm, I'm done. That was a bad time. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Metalist asks, what is your favorite theme slash genre for a campaign? Mm-hmm. Um, I like spooky stuff. Yeah, kind of same. I like spooky stuff too. Mm-hmm. I really like when it's, I, uh, I, I like campaign themes. Like when it's sprinkled. A little sprinkle? A sprinkle of spooky. A yeah. S- spooky sprinkle? Mm-hmm. I don't know. You, you like Curse of Strahd. I do. And that's just spooky. Yeah, but I don't want that all the time. Okay. Like in your game, sometimes it's like just just sprinkle of spooky. And That's then what your I like games, to do. Yeah. It's more of like a like a little little shower of spooky. Uh, yeah, like there's a, definitely spooky. like 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 the main layer, but then there's sprinkles of stuff everywhere else. Yeah, I've yeah. never felt uh, existential dread before in a D and D campaign before I played in Craig's games. Yeah, yeah. Craig uh, made me think about some shit that I was just. Like, I I tend to because it was just like a lot of my favorite writers and like narrators and people that like. What uh, me likes to call, I like people that scream mm-hmm. when 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 they write. Mm-hmm. I always try and mimic that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. I want it to just be just an experience. Think you succeed every time. very well. That's Thank cool. you. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I like to I like to throw a little bit of horror in because it catches people off guard mm-hmm. and they aren't expecting it. So mm-hmm. once it's scary, you know, it's nice. Because when you go watch a horror movie, you you know it's going to be a horror yeah. movie. Mm-hmm. But you watch a yeah a, a not horror movie and then there's horror in it. It's almost scary. Yeah. Um, I really like campaigns that are really, I, I'm just not, well, I wouldn't say I'm not a fan. I'm just more of a fan of the other thing. I'm not a big fan of high fantasy campaigns, like giga magic. Mm-hmm. It's cool. I'll play it. It's a good time. But like, I, I really like low magic campaigns and settings. I really like when, um, when like, you know, people can't be brought to life all the time. And like, like uh, Witcher? Yeah, like Witcher, mm-hmm. um, where magic is almost like a curse, mm-hmm. and um, the world's terrible. Well, I, I guess. magic it, magic is like a curse in that world. That's what brought all the monsters to. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, and like you know, adventurers are typically not seen as like heroes. They're typically like, mm-hmm. he, like they they're kind of painted in a bad light because it brings it. It's now on the players to bring light into this horrible world, and it makes the good deeds feel even more good mm-hmm. because when they, when I cast my spells, it feels unique. And whenever I do something heroic, it feels extremely heroic mm-hmm. instead of being like, well, yeah, I expect that from you, you know? Mm-hmm. So I like it. It's cool. cool. <clears throat> I guess it's like realistic too. So like, I think that just means, okay, we're going to go into our last question here. Uh, Oh God, hang on. I got to pick between a few. There's some, there's some, some, bangers. some bangers in here, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Hmm. 
<laughs> that one. No, I, that was an I will say <clears throat> that after Saturday, I've been picking makeup out of my eyes for two days. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, tomorrow's Spencer's birthday. It is. Oh, yeah. Con- congratulations. Sheesh. To being born? Yeah. 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 Good job. Thank you. I didn't try. It just came out. I mean, you tried after that. I did. And every day after I that. I did try. Um, all right. Our final question is, Zav, creator of D&D Waifus, you've done a send me your best D&D memes before an XP to level three. Would you ever do a special send me your best arc- in arcade memes special? Lord knows there's a lot of them. That'd be fun. We should do that. Yeah. We'll, we'll put on arcade arcade too mm-hmm. and we can all do it. That'd be yeah. funny. Well, uh, we also want to do that. Uh, that and like, we'll try not to laugh. Oh, God. Also do that uh, that pinup calendar. They want it real bad. Do mm. they? They do. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Maybe maybe a little Christmas gift, a little treat. That'd be cool. Because, you, you know, you want a calendar at the, yeah, at the start absolutely. of the year, not at Makes the end sense. of the year. We can put it in the new stream room, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd be great. we got to tell Sari now, though, because she's got to have some work. Yeah, she has, she has some work already. Yeah. Out of her, so. yeah. Man, that's such a good they idea. They should they should maybe get a vote on because there's only you only get to do twelve characters. So yeah, <laughs> maybe you got to vote on who you want. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Or we can we can double up. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. true. You get two characters in one. Mm-hmm. Okay, I guess take I... us out. Take us out, Spencer. Want to do a little jig? No. Take us out. Oh, well. Do something. No, they, that's they go. not all right. Uh, who, that's Marceline's grandfather who, who died at sea. It, uh, he died at sea. Do you know why he died? He was looking for Obama's last name, is what you said earlier. 